So I was playing Minecraft, like you would, and I noticed that if you stay in the snow for too long, your hearts turn blue and you start to take damage. Which, of course, got me thinking if a temperature mechanic could be properly implemented, or if it just wouldn't hold up. I understand that Minecraft is a choice for challenge philosophy, and a temperature technically doesn't fall in line with that. But if we're only talking about hypothermia and we don't take into account the nether being too hot or stuff like that, then maybe if we take inspiration from something like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we could have a technically sound system. Breath of the Wild honestly implements its temperature system masterfully. It has multiple levels of cold, each varying in difficulty to survive. For example, the more chili peppers you put onto a plate, the more potent the cold resistance becomes, both in power and length. Of course, there are a lot of ways to combat the cold. There are three really common ones though, the first of which being food. In Minecraft, having food that grants an effect is honestly not very intuitive, and it'll most likely either be too easy to obtain, or it'll be too much of a hassle to get. I think a good solution is to provide a potion that the player can brew. The potion can allow you to stay in the cold for an extended period of time. The downside of it obviously being difficult to obtain, requiring blaze rods, which are generally considered late game items. Although unlike Breath of the Wild, which only allows you to have one stat buff active at a time, which obviously makes it a decision, Minecraft allows you to have an infinite number of stat buffs active at the same time, which does hurt the system but overall isn't a big deal. With that being said though, it does severely damage the other methods of bypassing extreme weather conditions. Again, let's take Breath of the Wild as a counterexample. One of the most common effects attached to armor is protection from some form of environmental damage, whether that's cold, heat, extreme heat, lightning, etc. It means that areas of extreme weather are always more oppressive than usual, even though the player has a way to bypass their effects. This type of armor never has stats anywhere near as powerful as dedicated combat gear, so in any environment where you have to equip armor to survive, you're making yourself vulnerable in other areas, a sacrifice in exchange for a gain. You can get these same effects temporarily through consumable items, but in addition to losing inventory, these consumables can also provide benefits to combat or traversal. And unlike Minecraft, these can't be active simultaneously, so the trade-off still holds. A mechanic like this just would not hold up in Minecraft. The last way of preventing cold that isn't clothing or stat augmentations would of course be creating heat yourself. In Zelda, you can use a torch and move around with it in order to keep yourself warm against the lowest level of cold. But it comes with the trade-off of going significantly slower as well as being unable to perform combat, as well as hindering your traversal. A mechanic like this is impossible in Minecraft because torches cannot be extinguished. It means that you can put away your torch, run for a bit, and then continue holding the torch. The same thing obviously applies to combat or movement. You could just put away the torch, do the task, eat, and then continue holding the torch. All of this is also completely ignoring the fact that Minecraft does not have a super comprehensive chemistry engine, and creating one is an extremely difficult task. I dislike the idea of a temperature system even existing in Minecraft because it does not follow the choice for challenge philosophy that Minecraft has. But even if I did love the idea, under scrutiny, such a system simply cannot exist. My name is Krifser, and I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.